Gamers, the banner is almost here, and for me, this is a must-pull. I'm not going to say it's a must-pull for everyone, because maybe you have Luocha, the best healer in the game. But for me, who doesn't have Luocha, who seemingly only loses in the Memory of Chaos because my characters die, because my healing and my tanking is terrible, Schwan is a must-pull for me. And Lynx, who's on her banner, can open up a door to my comps becoming unstoppable. The golden age of Honkai Star Rail, let me explain. I want to go over their kits and the value that I'm seeing here, uh, but I think that for me, if I miss, I am going to rage. I am absolutely going to be uh, salty beyond repair. This character looks really good to me, and uh, the play styles that I like to play. I want to talk about overall pity first. Can we even get this character? Are you looking for something new to play? Omni Heroes is a free, heroic fantasy strategy RPG available now. Something with cool Valkyrie and other legendary heroes. Are you looking for strategy and a unique synergy system to build the perfect team to take on your foes and even the toughest bosses? Omni Heroes has a synergy system that you'll love, building the perfect team for every fight. With over a hundred legendary heroes to collect, and some chill mechanics like auto battle and one tap leveling, Omni Heroes is a great casual game for you to explore. Click the link down below and download it today to secure yourself a legendary hero, Dorabella. And here's the best part. The developers want you to enjoy the game and try out a bunch of different teams, so you can secure 777 pulls. That's right, a minimum of 5 legendary heroes just by clicking that link down below and trying out the game today. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into the content. I have a lot of 4 star pity ready to go, but the last character I hit was Asta, who is on the banner. So, um, unfortunately, uh, I may miss my next 4-star, it will be a light cone or something like that. But, um, I'm hoping that I can get Lynx as soon as humanly possible. We have a few wishes saved up. The issue is we're at about 40 pity, 39 pity. And, uh, the last character we got was Dan Hung, so we have to win the 50-50. We should have enough to hit pity by the time the banner comes out, between the, uh, weekly reset, uh, some of the memory chaos stuff, and, and just the dailies. But I have to win that 50-50. And then to get another pity is is going to be rough. If, if I end up missing, uh, to get another pity would be really rough. Now, if I was to get someone like Gepard, maybe I chill. Maybe I maybe I don't worry about it. But I would really like to win this 50-50. Um, I mean, obviously everyone wants to win the 50-50. Uh, but this would be a game changer for me. Now, the characters. I really want Lynx. I really want Lynx because um, she's quantum and it can open up the doors to some mono quantum teams. But also, I think that she's cracked. I think she's very, very good. Um, so this skill here, um, this is a heal. It also causes some sort of like taunting bonus to preservation and I think destruction characters. Uh, so you could use her with Clara. You could use her with your tanks and, and just stay alive. I think that is very good. Uh, that is very valuable. I love that. Um, on top of that, it boosts their max HP by percentage of her max HP. So if you stack max HP, you can end up giving um, your tank even more HP. And in the case of Fushuan, that is a very nice bonus to have because she's eating damage for everyone. So heal, some extra tauntage, and she's giving you that, uh, that max HP. This is an AoE heal that also will cleanse. That is beautiful. Um, one of the reasons I'm playing Natasha right now is because that cleanse is valuable, and I feel like I lose a lot of runs um, because of a lack of cleansing. And so, you know, throwing this into the kit is is juiced. I'm excited for it, and um, I, I just I think she's got a lot of potential. She also can apply a continuous heal. Uh, so so. You know, your your characters can keep up that healing. I'm hoping that she can be a very good sustain unit overall. I don't know if she's going to be like a better healer than Natasha or Bailu yet, but I have high hopes. The biggest thing is her element because of Silverwolf and 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 the idea of, of kind of the mono quantum team. Everyone is quantum. She automatically applies quantum with her skill, and then you can just smash everything in the game. I think it'll be super OP, but we'll have to see how that plays out. Now... Um, let's talk about Fushuan. Let's talk about her kit and everything. Um, 
I see a lot of potential with this character. Um, so she can get extra energy when using her skill. And Matrix of uh, Prescience? Oh my god, I've never pronounced that word before. I'm not even going to say it. The Matrix is always going to be active. Um, when she ults, she will heal all other allies. Beautiful. She's got some interesting little skills in here, some traces. Um, but this is the biggest one for me. And uh, if people don't see the value in this, I think you're crazy. If a target enemy applies crowd control debuffs to allies while the matrix is active, all allies will resist it. This can only be triggered once. When matrix is activated again, the number of times this can be triggered will reset, which means every single round that you're able to activate this matrix, you are immune to crowd control. And the way most enemies and bosses rotate, they are only going to crowd control you one time, and then it's it's off to the next thing. So for the most part, if your rotations are good and, and you can get Matrix up again, you will never have to worry about any crowd control on your team. And if you somehow paired Lynx in because something slipped through, you're chilling. Or Natasha, or whatever it is. But this is crazy to me. This is so valuable because a lot of runs are lost because a character doesn't get to attack and kill something or heal you. This is god tier to me. On top of that, um, if you look at her skills, okay, beautiful, beautiful skills. Everything, every animation is like top tier to me. I think it's so so good. Um, but this is this is really good. When she's in combat, she will apply Misfortune Avoidance for the team, meaning that targeted characters will take reduced damage. And when her HP falls below a set percentage, she gets a boost of HP up. So she's got some built-in sustain. She can also make this trigger uh, another time. Um, I think if you use your ultimate, it triggers one more time. So you've got two heals per fight built in that you don't have to worry about your healer um, doing it for you, which is really, really cool. Um, and then this skill is, is so good. It, it, it allows you to tank some of the damage. You eat the damage for your teammates. You boost up um, your teammates' max HP, so they're less likely to get one hit because they've got more HP, and you're tanking it, and then you're boosting up their crit rate. This is incredibly good. Um, that is that is super value to be have. I feel like it's such a stacked kit. And then with her ultimate, it just lets her talent trigger one more time, dealing AOE quantum damage, um, which is cool because because that talent is very strong. And because you're doing a mono quantum comp, the fact that her ultimate is actually an attack means that you can shred shields very quickly. She's she's got her normal attack. Um, she's going to be very skill point positive and, and good at shredding some of these shields. Um, so I'm very excited about, about the overall kit. There's going to be some more nitty gritty details uh, that drop down the road. And like there's there's some leaks and stuff that you can look at if you want to see the full kit. But um, I think that she's going to be a must pull on my, on my roster. I cannot wait to get her. As for the light cone, um, the light cone gives you a bunch of max HP and some energy regeneration. Um, also, uh, when HP is decreased for an ally... Uh, they're at, uh, oh, no, sorry, when the wearer's HP is decreased, it boosts up the, the damage of all allies by 9%. And, uh, and that's a nice chunk of damage to get for your team. And then every time there's a new wave, you restore 80% of your lost HP. Um, it's kind of, it's kind of wild. And it's, it's also an AOE heal because it's, it's 80% that the wearer, uh, the wearer loses, gives it to the entire team. So if your if your Fushuan is at one HP, she just like burst heals everyone on the team. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get this right now. For right now, I don't think I have the best light cones like for preservation. Like, uh, where are you? Where are you? Um, I don't have anything leveled up, and this is probably why I die is I don't have um a lot of preservation light cones leveled and ready. I have a couple options. This increases defense and causes a burn. Uh, this one here is the the reduced damage, and uh, and then like a little little heal thingy, and then this one here increased defense, and then all type res by nine percent. This one is probably the best one that I've got. There's also an effect res one that you can get from from the Herda shop, but I feel like that's a long ways away to get that one. I I think that I am am one of those people that the light cone would be a nice pickup for my account, but the gamers, <laughs> I don't got the jade. 
I don't get the Jade. Unless unless I get her very early, if I get her on like the first 10 pull, I would probably commit to the Weapon Banner and pray that I get it because I think that would be a very pick, good pickup for the account because I think that that Light Cone would be good on, on pretty much anyone. Um, I know that some people scale with defense, but it's still a really good Light Cone with the energy regeneration uh, and all that, but we'll see. For me, though, this is like a must-pull banner. I am praying I get a bunch of Lynx copies, or just one. I just need one copy of Lynx, and I'll be happy. It can open up some doors for me. And uh, I just wanted to say that I'm actually really enjoying um, Honkai Star Rail again, for whatever reason. Um, it feels engaging. Um, I love the new Swarm uh, disaster thing. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. I'm going to try to make some guides and some builds for the new characters when they drop because I plan on getting them. And when I can actually get a character and test them on my account, I feel more comfortable talking about them. I, I really dislike looking at, at just the stats and the constellations being like, it seems good, but I don't, I can't check with my relics. I can't check with my characters that are on my account. And, and, and I feel like that's just like a mental block for me as a, as a creator. So I get excited when new characters come out that I actually am getting or can get or hope to get. And uh, I guess we'll see how that plays out when the patch drops. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.